Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Awakening. Today's episode, we are going to be looking at how to farm the water gardens from Pam's Harvest Craft. The only mods you will need, Applied Energistics and also the Pam's Harvest Craft. There are two different models that I made, and I started them both at the same time one without sprinklers and one with sprinklers and if you want to know how much of a difference it makes while this one with the sprinklers gathered all of this including 31 of the green heartfish which is the main thing that I am after the one on the left without the sprinklers yeah that's a major difference a very very major difference alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with an area that is seven by seven. And you're gonna put some dirt down on top like this. And if it turns to grass like that one did, it'll cause a little bit of trouble. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna knock out the center block. Whoops, the center block. And I'm getting a little bit of a lag. I'm not sure what's causing it. I need to figure it out. All right, and then you're going to put your water garden down in there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take ME Annihilation Planes. And you're going to cover all the other blocks. Oops. All right. I realized while I was building this farm that I don't need as many green fish as I thought I needed but I still want to do this tutorial anyway because when I was looking for it earlier on I'm like nobody had a way to farm the gardens it's just strange alright so I want purple in the center so you're gonna use two different colors of cable I just chose purple and orange no particular reason all right, so we're going to do this, and you're going to come out one on your one side. And then you're going to do the next row over like this. You're going to go like that. All right, so the reason that I don't need as many green fish as I thought is because I don't need as many awakened draconium or as many awakened draconium blocks as I thought I was going to need. All right, now I'm going to switch over to the orange. And like I said, doesn't matter what color colors as long as they're different because you don't want them uh, what's the word you don't want them joining up because then you won't have enough channels alright so the reason I don't need as much awakened draconium as I thought is because in the version of draconic evolution that we are using it does not have the tier 8 energy core it only goes up to tier 7 so you don't use awakened draconium for that and I want to make that in an episode very soon all right, so now that you have your cables, you're going to need dense cables. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take these like this and connect those up. Then you're going to take your other one and you're going to connect it in front like this. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ME controller. You're going to put it down here like this, and the, cab the cables are going to connect up to it. Then you give it a power source. I'm going to use a Californium RTG. That's 500 RF per tick. I think this uses approximately 120 RF per tick. I'm not sure if that spikes when it's if it uses extra power as it's breaking blocks. So you can see these are still here. And the reason we put the dirt there was so that we had something to place the, the annihilation planes on. All right, then we're going to need, let's see. I'm just going to use the purple cable because it won't connect up with the orange. And then what I'm going to do is just put an ME terminal here. This is not necessary. All right, then I'm going to put a storage bus here, and I'm going to put a chest. Now, you could just put a storage drive um, here, or you could output to, like, an ender chest going into your other ME system or however you want to do it. So now you can see it picked up all that dirt and it put it in here. So we can take this and throw that away because we don't need it. Actually, you know what? I really did need a little bit. Let's see. Dirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out. You can see I have this outline here. So we're coming out 
three blocks from where the plants can grow. So we're one, two, three, like this. Then we're going to go up two, oops, and three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take wooden irrigation channels and we're going to stretch them across like this. And we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to go right to here. So is that? It's hard to tell. All right, let's use dirt. One, two, three. Nope, one more. I thought that's what it was. All right, like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our wand like this. And if it's going to give us the hitbox so we can actually do this, we're going to stretch this out. Okay. Sometimes this wand can be a little bit funky. All right, and we're going to bring this all the way out. Now, I do still want Awakened Draconium for one, two, and three. I still want Awakened Draconium cores so that I can make some of the cool tools that you can get for Draconic Evolution. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place one row of sprinklers like this. All right, then we're going to take our building wand and we're just going to bring the sprinklers all the way over. Now the reason I'm bringing these all the way out is because the effect stacks and it also does straight down from it and three blocks in either direction. So this sprinkler will still catch one block that's in the grow area that we want. All right, so then we're going to need a reservoir. And you just put it like this. And then what I do is I put a wooden tank on either side of it like this, too tall. And then we're going to need buckets of water. And we're going to need two of those. All right, then we're going to take those. We're going to stick them into the reservoir here. We're going to need our Yetta wrench. Oh, and that reminds me, um, Shadow Wake did add in the recipe for the smart wrench. So you can use that for the node builder now. So that's very good news. All right, you can see this fills kind of slow. So what I actually did was I stuck the reservoirs on four different sides. Let's see, whoops. And like this. You probably don't need it on all four sides. Probably two would do it. Let's see. And I don't have enough water here. All right, so if I was smart, what I would have done was filled up the reservoir like this, waited a second, and then pulled two buckets of water back out of it. There we go. And it looks like it's still not filling up. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go at another reservoir. Two more tanks. Oh, and you know what? I know why it's not filling up. Because I didn't use the wrench on it. Auto output. Yeah, see, there we go. Nope, still. Auto output. Okay, well, three of them do it. Okay, it looks like three is holding even, maybe gaining a little. So, yeah, I guess it does need four. All right, we'll go ahead and put two of these here like this. Then we'll fill this. Then we'll pull our buckets back out. We'll use the wrench on this. And it looks like 207... 237 okay this is filling up so now these sprinklers are running shadow wake did disable the uh the little water droplet texture so that it runs a lot smoother like normally if i ran this many sprinklers i'd be lagging all over the place but he removed that so they cause like zero lag so now if we open this chest we can see and i actually just heard it we've already gotten one of the pam's uh gardens so what you can actually do is you can take glass and a workbench, and we'll actually do that because I have enough time. This actually went a lot faster than I thought it would. So you can take uh, glass, 
All right, and what is it, a workbench? No, what is it, table? Hmm. Station, it's a station, I know what it is. There we go, a crafting station. And I just heard another one grow. I'm not sure if that was this garden or the other garden. All right, so it's this is the center one. I like things to be centered. So all I did was I just went like this. And we can actually just place glass down like this. And then we can actually just grab our wand and just go like this. So you now have an AFK room here that nothing's going to come at you or at least hopefully it won't and you can just right click on the crafting station I've mentioned before if you don't have a crafting station after a while your game will just do this and it'll pause and you won't earn anything AFK so if you use a crafting station I don't think a regular workbench works or a chest I think they all eventually time out but the crafting station will keep you logged in for hours at a time all right, so if I look in here, this is what I've gotten so far. And this thing, I'm not sure. I think I ran this, uh, let's see. I ran this one for maybe an hour or two um, in the background while I was doing other stuff. But you can see 32 green heartfish is not too shabby. Um, the main thing for those is the green hearts which we need for the green heart canisters. Um, you can use them for the hardcore hearts, which I don't even know why you would do it this way. I would still use the yellow ones. But the green heart canisters are used for the healer block, and the healer block is used for the resurrection stone for resurrecting the dragon. And like I said, I don't need to do that too many times. I probably already got enough, but I wanted to show how to build this because as far as I can see, nobody else has done a video on how to auto gar auto gather from Pam's um, Pam's Harvest Craft Water Gardens. Man, that's a tongue twister, or not a tongue twister, but a mouthful. All right, so all you need is Applied Energistics and Pam's Harvest Craft. Oh yeah, and AgriCraft. Oh, face palm. At the beginning, I said those were the only two mods you need. You need three mods. I mean, technically, you can do it like this. But you can see, like, in the hour or two, that's what it got. And in an hour or two, that's what it got. Yeah, so it's a pretty sorry excuse. I did try the Lamp of Growth from Thaumcraft. And it didn't seem to really do anything for the gardens. Um, I also tried the Agricarnation from Botania. And it did not really seem to speed it up any. All of these are just because um, I planted one down here and then my game's been running for hours on end, so that's why it has spread out so much. But the agricarnation didn't seem to speed it up at all. So I think it has to do with the, uh, the type of plant it is. It's just not, doesn't behave the same as like a vanilla plant. Also, I use the uh, let's see. Project E. I use the Harvest Goddess Band. Unfortunately, that will break up the garden. So there's no way to use that to automate and speed up the growth of those. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up and tell a friend. All right, until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.